Hey guys, today's video is going to be on my top three lip balms. Chapstick is something that I have with me at all times. I, when I first really started using chapstick, I had an obsession with it. I have to have it. Like I will, I will have almost a panic attack if my lips are chapped and I don't have chapstick with me. So, and I don't really get chapped lips. I get dry lips which is just as bad to me. Like mine don't get cracky or anything, but they do definitely get dry. So I just want to share with you my top three lip balms that I really recommend. And this is gonna be something that's gonna be hard to recommend because everybody's lips are different and what you're looking for is different. So, so I'm gonna start off with my ultimate favorite, which is the Burt's Bees Lip Balm. Mine is um, really rubbed off. This is what a new one looks like. But I keep mine in my ID holder that way I always have it with me or I'll keep it in my pocket but usually in my ID holder but this um, has a wonderful mint scent but it's not overpowering I really like mint though um, I've tried the pomegranate Burt's Bees and that, it's disgusting but if, if you like pomegranate you'll probably like it but I don't like pomegranate so I don't like that one but anyway this is really nice mint this is a thicker chapstick which I personally like that on my lips um, but it depends. Sometimes, um, if I just keep putting and putting it on, sometimes this does not help me. Sometimes it's too thick. So it kind of depends um, what condition my lips are in. Honestly, I can rub my lips together and then know what chapstick I need to use. So that's, you know, I don't think everybody's that way. It's just a weird thing I have. But anyway, I, this is my awesome favorite chapstick. You can get this really anywhere. It's like 3 or $4, I think. Uh, and... I keep this one with me all the time. I've repurchased this. I run out of this every couple of months. And I really like it. I like that it's thick. I love that it's minty. And um, natural ingredients and all that jazz too. The next one is the EOS Lip Balm and Sweet Mint. Now I did not buy this for the longest time because I thought these were like not worth the hype. I, I just was like, you know, those can't be that great. And I don't like fruit. That is the main thing. I do not like fruit flavored chapsticks. I like really mint or no flavor scent at all. So, and I hate sweet mint gum. I like regular mint, sweet mint, no thank you. So, um, that's why I didn't get this, but I actually got it from my aunt for Christmas. And I was so excited because I have one of these. They are of course, super cute. Not really practical for your pocket, but people always say, oh yeah, when you put them in your purse, you'll be able to see this little thing rolling around, which I don't know. I don't carry a purse anymore, so, you know, I'm sure you could. I do like this. I keep it in, um, right at my desk, so it's that easy access for me, and this is, I mean, it's just so cute. I've already worn down the tip a little bit, and I've only had it for like a month, but I am really liking this. It also has a mint, um, it is... The mint in this is a little bit less intense than the Burt's Bees mint. And this is a little bit thicker, but not near as thick as Burt's Bees. Like this, I feel like this would work for a lot of people, honestly, because it is just, for me, it's the right scent, the right amount of thickness. They have a lot of scents and flavors, um, you know, based on what you like, but I only like mint. And this does not like sweet mint gum, like Orbit sweet mint, in case you were worried about that as well. This is nothing like sweet mint gum, thankfully. So I actually really like this. I would definitely repurchase it. And, uh, I like it. You know what, this is, you know, sidebar here, but this thing is kind of funny. In my math class the other day, I saw a girl that had like a pink one. And I saw a different girl that had an orange one was putting it on. And, um, was putting it on. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I just feel like some things like only people on YouTube know about. And then, you know, like my friends that aren't into makeup, I'll see them using something that's so popular on YouTube. And I'm just like, I just love that. I know that's weird for me to say. Anyway, I definitely think this is worth the hype. This is great. This is also like three or four dollars. Totally worth it. Very cute. I love the scent. This one is perfect amount of thickness for me. The perfect amount. Like I said, sometimes burst bees can be a little too thick. This is just the perfect amount of thickness, in my opinion. And then lastly, I have the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment. Um, I got this for my birthday from the 
Sephora, from Sephora and I just have this much left. I'm so sad. And honestly, I was like gross. Like rose, that's like grandma. I, why would I want that on my lips? That's disgusting. And I'm never gonna use that one. I'll just use the regular kind. But really, I love this scent over the regular one. And it has like, like a, like a, like the regular one has like a cleaner kind of a scent. This one does too. It's a little bit of cleaner and a little bit of rose, but not, it's not overpowering like I thought it was going to be. And this is a little bit thinner. It glides on really nicely. It gives a little bit of tint, but that's not what I'm looking for. The full size of this is like $28 or something. I don't think I will, re I mean, I would like to repurchase it. Will I anytime soon? Probably not. But I do think that this is worth it. I think that this is great. I'm so glad I got to try it out. So um, in case you're wondering, some lip balms I don't like. I'll run through those really quick. If you have any questions about them, just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely respond back to you. The first one is this Blistex Medicated Lip Ointment. I do use this sometimes. This is just so thin. I'm just like, well, I threw it on the floor. So I guess I don't like it that much. The next is the Blistex Medicated Chapstick. This is a little too thin as well um and and then i have the maybelline baby lips i only have that much left but i do have another one of these because it was raved about so much i picked I, I bought it and i don't like it though like i just think it's a little too slippery um i, I do wear it sometimes because i'm trying to use it up it like i said it depends on the condition of my lips the one i really um another one that i really don't like is the lush lip service this is incredibly thick, incredibly thick, like bad. Like Burst Bees is, is probably as thick as I would go. Um, and this is too thick. I just don't like it at all. The one that I hate the most is soft lips. I feel like that is grease on my mouth. That does not settle into my lips in a good way. It just sits and slides and makes a mess. So like I said, my three favorite lip balms that I totally recommend for you guys, Burst Bees, EOS, and Fresh Sugar rose lip balm so please leave a comment down below of your favorite chapstick i'm interested in the nivea ones and the jack black so if you have those let me know and please rate comment and subscribe and i will talk to you soon bye guys